Welcome to Better Living with Adrian, everyone. We are joined with my corporate branding expert, Brenda Bentz. Welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you, you so much for being here. Now, we've talked a lot about corporate branding and personal mm -hmm. branding. If you're in the job force, if you're trying to get a job, um, no matter who you are, personal brand is important. But I really want to focus on those folks, men or women, retirees, soccer moms, the stay-at-home dad, mm -hmm. those folks that are outside of the workplace. Because I would imagine that they are kind of your hardest audience, because they're the ones that may say, I don't need a brand, I don't have a brand, I don't want a brand, <laughs> right. but they really do have a brand. Well, they really do, because this is very important to remember. Your personal brand is not what you do for a living. And that's, Your personal yes. brand is who you are. And the more you're clear on who you are, what are you here for? What's your purpose? That's what personal branding is all about. The better you're going to lead a life, whether it's inside the workplace or outside the mm -hmm. workplace. So whether you're a retiree, whether you're a stay-at-home mom, stay-at-home dad, what is your legacy? What do you want to stand for? For. And the more you know that, the more effective you'll be at everything that you do out in life. Now, two things I want to focus on quickly. How do we give us a recap on how we find that personal brand? How would, say, the soccer mom or the retiree or the stand? Real quick, what are the ways to find that personal brand that they have? Sure. I mean, you want to go out and you want to do a little investigative research. Listen again to what people say about you. Maybe you're being introduced at a luncheon or maybe you're, being, uh, you're going back and looking at some documents that somebody wrote about you once. Just pick up those little hints and clues about what people are perceiving and thinking and feeling about you. We have up right now, this is the uh -huh. Wheel of Influence. That's right. And just jumping forward, the Wheel of Influence that was just up shows um, how much a, a soccer mom, as I keep saying, does have an influence, That's exactly even though they right. may say that they don't. Well, they say that I don't need a personal brand, I don't want one, but the truth is you already have one because people are perceiving, thinking, and feeling about you right now. And people say, oh, I'm not influencing others, but soccer yeah. moms are. So give They're us some influence, oh, it can be postal carriers, their children, their spouse, um, their mother, their father, the PTA members, maybe the carpool moms. Anybody that they come in contact with is being affected by their personal brand. What is that brand? Are you happy with the way it's being perceived, thought of, and felt about? If not, take charge of it and master it. And defining it? And then communicating, communicating it. Communicating it. And avoid damaging it. And avoid damaging mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions for Brenda, feel free to email us at NBC40.net on your personal brand or anything that we've talked about. Brenda Benz, thank you so much. Thank you, Adrian. And that's Better Living.